Hey, hey, my pretties. This Pretty Girl Designs by Tasha. I just wanted to come in here and show you a quick concept what I came up with Coco Melon. Of course, all my Coco Melons is geared towards babies. So, therefore, I do a lot of Coco Melons. And I love these buckets. Oh, my goodness. I have been searching for them. I have gotten them at Big Lots, and this was a steal. These was $7.49. I did find them on clearance. If you find anything on clearance at Big Lots, it's an additional 25% off. So I got these for $7.49. In this basket, I include a lot of Dollar Tree stuff and some of my wholesale supplier items and some Walgreens finds and also some Ross. I went summer everywhere with this basket, okay? And I think it came out really, really good. So in this basket, I put the wipes and you get these at Dollar Tree in the basket because babies, you have to wipe them. You know what I mean? They they wear pampers and all that stuff. I put the shampoo in here. And then I got this little cocoa melon. Uh, what do you call this? Play-Doh set. I got these little Starburst uh, popsicles. Thank you, LBE, for that information. So I'm going to use bigger snacks for I won't have to put a lot of candy into my Easter baskets. In my area, you have to use candy. I'm sorry, I would love to use snacks, but they don't purchase because I had tried it last year and it didn't work out for me. Once when I had opened up those baskets and removed the snacks and put candy in, they flew like that. But... That's, you have to know your clientele in your area. So I was just trying to do it last year just to test the waters, and it didn't work. So these right here, this is how I'm going to do it. I got this microphone thing at Walgreens, and I got this on the summer clearance, so I can't tell you what I paid for it, but I know it's less than five because I don't too much try to spend a lot of money on a lot of toys, but... I know it was no more than five. You can find these in the store right now on clearance in Walmart. They was displayed at $7.99, and I saw them today. Uh, the Mike and Ike's Cotton Candy. This was Dollar Tree, of course. And this backpack right here came from my wholesale supplier, and it was $3.99. And he only had one, so it was 18 months. So I'm going to put that in there. And these cookies, I found these shortbread cookies at Ross, and they was, let me see this tag. I just tore it off, $3.99. So I like these cookies because it, it's the theme of uh, Cocoa Melon. So I most definitely like that. Now, this is a singing pump. It's a hand soap dispenser. And it's a toothbrush holder, what is uh, Cocoa Melon, right? And the, I got this set from my wholesale supplier, and it was $5.99. This was just one of my toys, what I had left over from my uh, Christmas stuff. So I added it in here, you know, because I do do Christmas toy bundles, and they go re really good for me. But I don't know about this year how that's going to go, but I ain't going to count myself out. But this came out really cute in this bucket. Oh, and then I am going to add some eggs. And then I did put a little 18-piece puzzle on here. The mom can do this for the kids. And it, is, and it says 18 pieces, you know, for the cocoa melon. So I do like that. See, look, I'm going to turn this bucket around. See, it's a musical uh buddies pack you know the toothbrush thing i pushed it and it say that coco melon song mad annoying but kids love it you know what i mean kids love it and then i like the back of these cookies i got two packs of them again y'all get these at ross while you can it's at the front checkout and then this is a cocoa melon backpack of course, you can see the back of it. It looks really nice. And I think this came out nice, what I had created for the toddlers, you know. And I have created another cocoa melon. I am going to do one more cocoa melon in these buckets. Then I'm going to move on. But what you guys think about this particular Easter basket? Thank y'all so much for subscribing for my channel. Thank you for all the positive comments and the feedback. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I do thank you for embarking on this journey with me. Um, 
to become a YouTuber, something different, and I'm stepping outside the box. I know most YouTubers have a film sideways, but I just chose to uh, film straight up and down because it's easier for me because I have fibromyalgia in my hands and I can't hold the camera like that, you know. But I'm going to add these eggs in there. But anyways, thank you ladies and gents and all my subscribers and all my people from Facebook who's rocking with me through thick and thin. So with that being said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Don't forget to thumbs up the videos. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a good night. Bye.